you offer an employment agreement statuses set up recruiting okay this is something different so in this requirement they are asking you to create the offer acceptance rate it means that how many candidates have accepted the offer so that is yeah. what they need i looked in my tenant they have offer process time by step but uh, they do not have any the offer accepted report they would be something in the community i think definitely in community we get this community works on weekend didn't try in no, weekend no no it doesn't okay so what you need to configure let me just give you an idea okay so you are going to create an advance report and data source uh, let me check off uh, if something is there now remove this optimized for performance it will give you more data sources active and renegotiated offer employment agreement events okay this reporting data source gives you access to all offers and employment agreement that are in progress approved or in negotiation so basically we don't need thing don't need this thing i think because these are the in progress offers so i'll just look into mm, let me look into candidate as a scan drop and then to then this would be okay fine candidates because we are going to fetch the data from the candidates um, offer event what what happened and we cannot take worker we have to take candidate only yeah internal external would be okay so job application offer status the offer status of the latest job application in the offer so i think this might help you a little bit okay so um
job application offer status so that we are already looking into but let, let me check this business object and see which all fields will come offer status For offer there's not much let me just check with this all of them are blank So maybe there's some issue in the data source which we have selected. I think it is still fetching in the um, candidates as the workers. Yeah, it is not fetching in the data so we have to look we we have to do a um, lot of trials and testing and only then a report gets created which then would further be used in your dashboard what is this uh, created moment i haven't used this one created moment what is created moment uh, created moment for your uh, offer okay what time the offer was created yeah day of creation because they they are looking for something i think by 20 2022 mm, 80 percent yeah 2021. that's 80%. Mm. i don't understand the whole requirement while <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, to get it Since we have used this fine candidate, we cannot change it, but try testing it with worker for HCM reporting as the data source. And it might give you an idea, but the best would be to first look out in the community. I think this is a very common uh, requirement from the clients 
so you will get not necessarily the condition which they have shared but something similar you'll get i'll also try to search in my client's tenant then okay. comes the second sourcing strategies okay measures the impact of recruiting strategy no so sourcing tools Sourcing strategies, wait. Again, I think this would be present in the GMS tenant. No, no, this is different. Maybe source for higher report. So this is one thing. So like it is telling you, uh, like, wait. These are the various sources in the tenant and this is how they have performed. Like uh, for website, corporate website, 14 people were sourced from here and this is the percentage of the source effectiveness. So this is how it is, but let me check your requirement again. Okay. So sourcing strategies basically is again checking the impact of recruiting strategy and market landscape, determine ROI of tools, where to invest resources. So are they indirectly checking the source productivity, no? So how it is measured? So here they are talking about how, how many people went, came into the system, how many candidates came through these sources, then how many interviews were conducted, and hires. So these would be indirectly the filters on the report. Flow, interview, and hires. So if I look into the count, so I could see the candidate stage, company, job rec, manager, recruiter, and source. Wait a minute. Yeah, see, diversity report is there. Try to show them these standard reports first, right? So see, male and female distribution, ethnicity, management level. So this report looks very nice, right? Yeah. Employee population, trend by gender, people manager proportion. Then there are a lot of others as well, I think. Then diversity of gender by management level, ethnicity, age group, location, quarterly diversity metrics are also there. I think diversity I think, include both the, the race and gender both? Yeah, like the, the different type of employees we have so different type of employees could be on the basis of gender also and mm -hmm. even uh, like the lgtb lgbtq yeah okay. that that percentage also nowadays companies are branding themselves with the percentage of these people so yeah, yeah all so these the, age management level everything sorry the what is this uh, slates like specifically used for uh, just a second Yeah, see, these are the reports for diversity. There are six in the system. The standard reports? 
Yeah, these are the standard reports. So this calculates all these data, the candidates distribution, the person gender weight. Now what you're saying? Uh, diversity slates, slates and the slates. Diversity slates, I think would be these only, gender, ethnicity, uh, management level, all these things, I feel so. Yeah, and it's on the right side of the same uh, requirement, they say it's, uh, how it measured is like slates, 50%, female, 25, diverse, interview panel, 100%. I don't understand why the interview comes here. Mm -hmm. Diversity slates and interview panels. Okay, okay. They are also looking into the interview panels, like uh, how the interview panels are also set, whether are we including the all kind of genders or are we only including male people for the interview so that kind of measurement is also done mm. right so show them all these diversity reports first of all okay How do you quickly know which one is standard report and which one is custom? You just, you just look at it and then you know. No, no, <laughs> no. no. Workday standard report is the task. Okay. Hmm. okay. So we have to mention the category or we can just skip it also. And uh, so the count would be too much. That's why it's loaded. Yeah, so 4,908 items are there, see, provided by Workday, and here's the repo, uh, domain. So we cannot put filter here other than the category, I think. So just take an export of it in Excel, and then try to search. So the name would be uh, searchable, then you can search it here by just uh, with that particular name. Okay. In the... In, in Excel format, we can search it? Yeah, yeah. So I just downloaded it now. Click on it, mm -hmm. download it, and this is how it will come. Standard reports. Control F4 something and the filter. You can put in the filter. So this you can do it for each and every report also. Uh, like uh, just search for any repository if you have where all the reports, custom reports for your company are uh, extracted mm -hmm. and put in. Even on community also, no? just search for such kind of uh, zip files where all the reports are present. Okay. Okay, so just talk to them about the interview panel 100%, like what it means. Like, do you want um, equal proportion of females and males in the interview or what? Ask them also the requirement, no? okay? okay? Then open an aging requisition. Mm. I think uh, there would be something related to this. This look like, look like similar to sourcing strategies. No, no, job so, aging is like, uh, uh, like when it was created and how much time it took to fill the candidate or how many of them are open still? So that is good. Okay. See here, we have the report job requisition age. Just show them this report. The 
okay they will ask you for um, any of these prompts if you want to look into or they are not mandatory so i can just click on okay see Mm. It is giving the recruiter's detail. Okay, like uh, it is fetching in the detail based on the recruiters. So you can show them this that uh, it is based. It is on the basis of recruiter, mm. or you can also even copy it and put a column here of job requisition names. Somewhere. And this is a matrix report? Is no, it is not report? a matrix. Uh, it's a standard report, but you need to copy it in order to oh. make changes. Okay. This standard report can be uh, only converted into advanced report, or you can change, like, if I want to make matrix report from here, just copy and I think the type would be the same. Okay. Yeah, to show them this or just have an idea of how this has been created and create for your own. Okay. Just see how it is. Wait a minute. So all the job like so you can it's a matrix report okay yeah, we different. can only we can only change the data source so see it. like it is fetching in the detail based on the recruiter if we can add uh, job rec yeah. because then we let's see day. let's see all the possible group by field they have requirement new zero to 60 days, aging 60 to 90 days, and old 90 plus. So, mm. based on the. So, yeah, you can create it on the basis of job rec also. Uh, then I can I will filter. Mm. Okay. Just okay. try to play around with this. Okay. Mm. Then, your last is candidate hiring manager experience. Measures are perception of process and like execution mm. what it means uh, perception of process and execution like how they perceive the process and how actually it executed candidate hiring manager experience basically they are looking into the feedback yeah yeah Perception of process and execution. That's very weird type of requirement. <laughs> you say net promoter score NPI. This is another new term. What is that for? Yeah. Work they or work they or call it tricks. Yeah, exactly. Okay, experience. It is only related to interview. So generally we have the feedback steps that could only be included in the interview BP. Okay. But we can just roll out them a survey or a questionnaire and they can fill in the response. And then for that particular um, that particular survey or questionnaire, we can have the responses being prepared. 
so like you can have the ratings only in the survey okay you can create such kind of question or in the questionnaire you can have only like the rating related questions okay and then the responses could be checked in on those questionnaires